Hello everyone, I'm Carolyn Meyer. Welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. The fourth ranked St. Thomas football team seeks its second straight undefeated regular season when it plays St. Olaf Saturday at Palmer Field. At Gustavus last Saturday, cornerback Michael Alata recovered a fumble and intercepted two passes, while wide receiver Joe Reed scored two touchdowns, helping secure a share of a second straight Mayak title. I'm joined today by head football coach Glenn Crusoe, cornerback Michael Lotta, and wide receiver Joe Reed. Thanks for joining us Good today. Good to be here. So coach, you have had several injuries in the running back position. How does this affect your game plan with several different options at running back? Having options is certainly good, but sometimes there's, uh, you need to get into a rhythm as well. We've been blessed to have uh, a lot of depth. Guys like Tucker Treadle, who's our starter, who's taken over obviously when, when Jordan went down. And then when Tucker uh, didn't play last week, we were able to put Josh Parks in there. You know, I think the one, the one guy that probably doesn't get mentioned very much is Jeremy Molina. He doesn't have all the touches and carries and touchdowns, but he does the yeoman's work, and he's a really impressive young man and uh, very selfless. Mm -hmm. Your team definitely knows how to handle adversity. And Michael, you are one interception away from tying the school record. What is your secret? Yeah, that's awesome. I just found that out earlier this week. Um, I'm happy for that. And I'm just fortunate to be a part of this defense. You know, it's just um, everybody wants the ball. Everybody wants to make plays. It's just 11 players, you know, running to the ball, um, doing their assignments to the best of their ability. So I just want to do my part, and I'm happy for the opportunities that I've gotten. Very cool. And Joe, what is it like transitioning from football to track? Um, it's actually uh, <clears throat> rather seamless because as soon as the football season ends, it goes right into the indoor track season. So um, I'm already doing a lot of running with football, so it's basically just like I'm already kind of in the swing of things, and it's, uh, it's a pretty easy transition. Mm -hmm. And does track enhance your football skills in any way? I like to say I get faster every year. Um, <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. But, yeah, I believe uh, track does a lot for me, you know, with your running form and conditioning, so I feel like really gets me ready for the football season. Mm -hmm. And Coach Crusoe, you mm -hmm. have clinched a tie for the conference championship. Right. St. Olaf is last in the league. How can you use this game to prepare for the playoffs? Well, there's a lot of things. We talk quite often about what we have to do um, because that's all what we can control. We can't control who the opponent is or what they do. Um, so certainly finding that, that balance of rhythm that we were able to find a little bit the last couple of weeks, uh, continuing to be uh, dominant in, in the defensive uh, area. And really this week is mostly in my mind and hopefully our team's mind about honoring these beautiful seniors we got. I mean, these are two of 26 guys who um, are very, very near and dear to our hearts and have worked tirelessly for this university and selflessly for this university. And that's uh, part of the reason why I love them so much. So our actions and our efforts this weekend all go to honor them. Excellent. And we'll be back after this short message. Barbers learn the traditional techniques of barbering. We utilize straight edge razors. We do a lot of clipper cuts, a lot of tapering, fading. I've been in this location for 12 years. I have uh, clients that have been cutting their hair since they were four years old. Get to have conversations with these kids and it keeps me on my toes. And now it's time for this week's fan question. Michael and Joe, Junior Sammy Hines was wondering, if you could go back in time and attend any game, which game would you choose to attend and why? Um, uh, a college football game? or uh, any, uh, game. Uh, any game. Any game? Any game. Probably go back to the national championship game last year and just kind of see what it's like from the fans' perspective and just kind of, you know, cheer yourself on from the stands and go back to Salem again. I'd love to do that, so... Uh, I'd probably go to um, the Super Bowl with the Seahawks win, the last Super Bowl with the Seahawks win, and just see, you know, the best defense in the league. I think we, we're kind of comparable to them, and see how they play together. I think it'd be cool. How about you, Coach? Uh, I was really young, but the 1980 uh, Lake Placid hockey game, I'm, I'm not necessarily a hockey fan, but if you think about um, how sports can unify a group of people and, and let them cheer together for a common cause and, and how a team that not many people thought could do what they did overachieved, I would think that would be a pretty neat thing to be at. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining us today and Thank good you. luck this weekend. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. If you have a question, tweet it to at Tommy Media. The NCAA Division III postseason selections will be announced Sunday. Be sure to check Tommy Media for St. Thomas's path to the title and for the latest campus news. 
With Coach Caruso, Michael Lada, and Joe Reed, I'm Carolyn Meyer. We'll see you next time in the locker room.